What's up everybody, Jorge here, welcome back to SmartBSD. Today we are talking about how to get Inkscape installed on your Mac. If you are finding my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. I've been looking for ways to create my custom thumbnails on YouTube and two free programs always popping up in search results are GIMP and Inkscape. GIMP is really easy to install, they have a DMG for this, but in the current Inkscape version it's not that simple. So I decided to create a video explaining how I got it installed on macOS Mojave. Inkscape recommends to install via Mac ports. I tried using Homebrew and even though everything was successfully installed, for some reason Inkscape was unable to load. So let's just go ahead and install Mac ports, which is really simple. We just need to get the package file and then install it in our system. At this point just click continue and then just agree to the license agreement and install. macOS will ask you for your password and let the installation to complete. Now we will install Xcode. This step is easy but it will take some time depending on your download speed because this is a large file. Just follow the on-screen instructions to get Xcode installed. By the way, I forgot an important error you may encounter while trying to install Inkscape. As you can see from the command line, I tried to install Inkscape as soon as I got Xcode installed, but the installation failed. As a prior step, you need to open Xcode and accept the license, otherwise Inkscape won't install. And finally we have all the requirements, so let's install Inkscape. At this point we have completed the installation and the only step missing is to set Cyton 2.7 the default Python version. For this we need to execute the following command. And as you can see this has to be executed as the root user. Inkscape is located under opt local bin, but from the error we're still missing the X server. So let's just go ahead and install this missing component to finally get Inkscape up and running. Once the installation is complete, we will need to log out of the system and log back in, and finally we will be able to run GIMP. If you want to make things easier for you, you can always download the DMG file for 0.92.2 as this version is available in the Inkscape website. If you follow this video, you will get the latest version installed, which is 0.92.4. That's it for this video, I tried to make it as short as possible, if you need help just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If this video was useful to you, give it a like, share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our next video. See you guys in the next one.